In this video I'm going to show you how to register a domain name with GoDaddy. And the first thing to do is to come to GoDaddy which is godaddy.com. If you're already a customer of theirs you can sign in with your username and password here otherwise you can sign up after you've already created your domain name. And the first thing to do is to enter the domain name that you're thinking about registering to make sure that it's still available. So let's try this one. New video for you dot com and I click on go. And it says here new video for you dot com is available. And it also shows you all the other ones that you can have .co.info.net etc which you can add to the shopping cart if you want and also their recommendations as well. Now you may want to register some of these variants if you are going to do some split testing. You can have your .com version going to one web page and your .net version going to another one and so on. For this demonstration I'm just going to stick with the .com one so click on add again it shows you this other screen because it uh, they do like to try and sell you extra stuff on GoDaddy there's all these extra ones that you can get but I don't want that so continue to registration and again it's telling me I should buy more domain names but I don't want those so just click on no thanks and now I need to create my username and password so we've got all the different information that I'm going to put in here and this information will be used to populate the who is listing so let's just uh, add some information in here and I've got all that entered now so just click on next it's going to ask me how long I want the registration length to go for one year is the minimum or you can have it up to 10 years it's also going to want to know if you want it to be a certified domain and that's an extra four ninety nine a year. I'm going to leave that as uncertified for now and click on next. Then it asks me for my privacy and domain information. Standard registration means that your personal details, your name, your address, your phone number and so on will be available to anyone who does a who is search or you can have a private registration which hides this information um, and you also have protected registration which also includes expiry protection and uh, stops you from having any um, accidental or malicious transfer. I'm just going to leave it at standard registration for this demonstration and then click next. You can also add email addresses. This is if you're not going to have a hosting company. You can actually use this just for email if you want. Uh, I don't want that. And you can also host it here at GoDaddy if you would like to do that as well. I'm not going to do that. So what I'm now going to do is go to the checkout. So click on next. And it gives me all the details again. along with uh, the possibility of getting extra matching domains and so on. You can also here if you have a promo code you can enter it here and it's a good idea to do a search in Google for GoDaddy promo codes. They have them all the time and you can make a substantial savings um, on your purchase. I don't have one at the moment so I'm going to continue to check out. Takes you to this page where it's got some information already put in. I just need to 
add a password so let's uh, put a password in here and then a call in pin this is for random numbers and they want to know how they heard about them uh, I'm just going to click on other also can select whether you want to receive email messages and so on I'm going to leave it as it is and just go continue to check out and I don't want them to remember that so we'll clear that and then that takes me to the final page where I enter my credit card or PayPal information and then check out and what will happen afterwards is it will then flash up a screen telling me that my payment has gone through and it will give me um, a order reference number and so on and after that they'll send me an email which will have all my um, account details and a link that I can click on to log in to my new um, GoDaddy account and then I can set up the name servers and so on for my new website and that's how you register a domain name with GoDaddy